so it's time to leave for the airport today. Everything's gonna be smooth and uh, yeah, say bye to my rest. Maybe not. But yeah. I'm going to check in right now. We'll see what's the situation inside. It Maybe definitely look busy in the airport. Looks like a lot of people are flying. I am heading to G. Check in is a breeze. Uh, it's very easy. I've got my tickets and. And now I'm gonna have a look around the Bangkok airport more clearly and see what's the situation. Some parts seems very quiet, some parts seems much more busier. At the same time, they are doing a bit of social distancing as well, separating the chairs. Malaysia Airlines wise seems very quiet. Uh, the, there's literally no queue in the check-in counter. Quite a lot of cancellations on the board. Cancel, 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 cancel. So heading for international departures. So we just passed the immigration. Uh, we are uh, overstay on amnesty, so they will send you to a place. They will do a writing and chop on the passport. Basically, that's what's been done. This is the entry gate. It was pretty cool. And then going to the E gate. Shops are pretty much empty everywhere. There's really not much customers. Basically, they are all wrapped up. So nobody can access it. And Let's hope to have one day to have the airport be bustling with people again. Yep. My flight doesn't seem to be full. Uh, it looks quite empty, but it's still early. So maybe there are still people coming in, waiting to board. Ciao. Heading in. Thank you. There it is, checked in, seated. Flights are pretty empty, um, but thankfully Malaysia Airlines still flies. And yes, after the cancellations and everything, I'm glad I booked the flight already. And now we are just waiting to take off. Um, I'm also surprised that we actually have the TV. So now it's after arrival in Malaysia, it's just gonna be like a lucky draw roulette. What kind of quarantine center you're gonna get? Are you gonna get a good ones, bad ones, or is all the question mark? So going on. So we just got out from the plane and the first thing is we have to queue up and waiting enough people to be escorted to the next station. After about 7 minutes or so, our queue started to move probably because our flight had very little people and we are the only flights that's reached at that point in time. Some people get to wait a longer time in this section. And the first stations we were brought to is the scanning of our MySaja Tri app. We need to check in, fill up some details that we need. Then we get a green light. We will pass through a point where we will have a thermal scan to scan our temperature. Right after that, we will reach to a point where you need to fill up your details for the swab test. You will be seated and waiting for our names to be called and then we can go for our swab test. There's two tests that's being done. One is on the throat, another one is on the nose. The nose one is a little bit uncomfortable. I uh, was kind of tearing. After that, we will be led to make our payment for the swab test. 150 for Malaysian foreigners, 250 ringgit. And right after that, we will be led to check our LOU, which is the letters of indemnity form that where you are basically saying that I'm going to pay for my hotel, 
um, don't worry about it. So you, I'm not gonna stay for free kind of thing. So finally, the next station is the immigration. So yes, it takes a lot of processes before we reach the immigration sections. And they will check your passport, ask you necessary questions, why you stranded, and do the procedures as they need to. And they'll let me let you go. After letting me go, then we proceed to the last form to fill up for the hotel allocations. When we are filling up, there is also a kind um, volunteers or or people who is working there pass us a goodie bag as well. So the goodie bags, when we receive it, they are basically some water, some a bottle of water, and some snacks that we are getting ready. Because the next point is our bus waiting time, which can take quite a long while to wait uh, as they need to gather enough people to load people in the bus they, so that they can bring everybody to the quarantine hotel so we waited there for about maybe half an hour or so um, like I said we were quite lucky for that and then we go and collect our baggage and we will hit to the uh, bus where we're gonna load Right before we get loaded to the bus, what we're gonna everything that we have on our body, basically our luggages, including our hand carry baggages, have to be disinfected. So we have to put it on a line, and then they were gonna spray some this something to disinfect all the bags that you are carrying with you. Right after that, they will ask you to grab your carry on uh, baggage. And then they, the volunteers or the bomba or whoever the, the people is was going to help to load all the baggage to the bus itself. Some of the baggage I saw, it was superbly heavy. I really salute to all the frontliners who is helping us to do that. So there we are on the bus going to the quarantine stations. Uh, from here point, we do not know where we exactly are going yet until one of the frontliners tell us crystal crown so we are going to crystal crown pj once we reach uh, you can't really get down from the bus so uh, what happened in this hotel i, I think every hotel is kind of different so but everybody have to wait inside the bus uh, the frontliners was wearing a full ppe suit and they take out luggage by luggage and some luggage like i say is not light at all and put it in a place where they can be collected by us and he's very kind he took out the luggage during when there's a puddle of water thank you so much for that and after that we were told that okay you can get down from the bus right now you can carry your own luggages and going towards the hotel checked in so during the hotel check-in we are not checking in in the hotel lobby for us we are checking in down at the basement one car park so it was at night so it was okay but if it's during the daytime it can be a little bit hot there isn't really a queue uh, that we sh i think there should be this hotel offers a personal upgrade if you want to and right after that you got your keys and we checked into our room just finished helping out a fellow puss and now to my room. Oh yeah! So this is where I'll be quarantined for the next 14 days. The room looks really lovely and big. Toilet is lovely and clean, although I was wishing for a bathtub, but it's alright. Blessings. Good night guys. Tomorrow. Bye.